The WWE 2K24 roster reveal is underway and we have three new superstars that are confirmed for this year's game and that is also making their debut into the WWE 2K series. Not only that, but we also have 14 new superstar ratings that I will be discussing in today's video. So if you haven't already made, make sure you boys go ahead and grab a snack, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So as you guys can see on the screen right here for the roster reveal, we have Alba Fire, Bad Bunny, Bronson Reed, which is new to the WWE 2K series, Isla Dunn, Dia Hill, which is also new to the 2K series, Jay Uso, Maxine Dupree, which is also new to the 2K series as well, and also Tegan Knox. So right now, these are the eight superstars that they revealed to us so far. More will be coming out soon. And when I say soon, I am talking about within this week. So stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and switch topics to the 14 superstar ratings that we have so far, with the first superstar being Cody Rhodes. His rating in WWE 2K24 is a 93, which is a minus two from his rating in WWE 2K23 which he was a 91. Now, I don't agree with this rating right here. I do believe Cody Rose should be set at least a 95 due to the fact that he had a fantastic 2023. He's been winning most of his matches. I believe the only matches he lost was probably the tag team match he had with Jey Uso. And I believe that is most likely the only match that he lost in 2023. Let me know in the comment section down below, though. I believe that was the only match that he lost, though. But coming in next is Gunther, and his overall rating in WWE 2K24 is a 90, which is a minus one from his rating in WWE 2K23, which he was in 89. Now, you mean to tell me this right here. The longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history set at a 90 overall i believe he should be at least a 95 or a 97 depending on roman reigns rating but yeah i don't agree with this rating right here at all gunther should be higher than a 90 he should never even drop from his rating from last year in the first place but coming up next is johnny gargano and his overall rating in wwe 2k24 is a 74 which is a minus 10 from his rating last year in wwe 2k23 which he was in 84. Now we all know that Johnny Gargano did not have a great 2023, but having his overall rating a 74 is kind of outrageous. I would have at least gave him like an 80, dropped his overall minus four from last year, but 2K decided to give him a 74, which is kind of crazy to me. But coming up next is Drew McIntyre and his overall rating in WWE 2K24 is an 89, which is a minus two from his rating from last year, which he was a 91. And when it comes to Drew McIntyre rating in this year's game, I would have to say I would agree with this one right here. Having Drew McIntyre at an 89 is great. It's solid due to the fact that his year wasn't bad, wasn't good. It was kind of okay. Okay. Now, up next, we have a new superstar that is making her debut into the WWE games, and her name is Maxine Dupree, and her overall rating in this year's game is a 69. Now, when it comes to Maxine Dupree, I would say her model looks great, the attire is on point, but a 69, uh... Uh, we, I, I'll stand by that. She could have at least been a 70. You know, y'all could at least get my girl a 70, but a 69 is cool. It's cool. Now, when it comes to her partners in crime, which is the Alpha Academy, they was featured in last year's games, and they do have ratings right now. And the first superstar is Tazawa, which is overall rating in WWE 2K24 is a 68, which is a minus five from his rating from last year, which he was a 73 in WWE 2K23. And when it comes to Otis, his overall rating in WWE 2K24 is a 74, which is a minus six from his rating from last year from WWE 2K23, which he was in 80. Now they got Otis body type on point as well as to her. So I would say that is a key upgrade with that. Now, when it comes to Gable, his overall rating in WWE 2K24 is an 80, which is a plus three from his rating in last year's game, which he was a 77. So when it comes to the faction Alpha Academy, the highest superstar rated in that faction is Gable. Now coming up next is another faction that is also on Raw with Alpha Academy, and that faction is the Judgment Day. And coming up first in the Judgment Day is Damian Priest with his overall rating in WWE 2K24 and 86 which is a plus two from his rating in WWE 2K23, which he was in 84. I would say I agree with this rating. I would have personally gave him like an 87, but that is just me adding on an extra point. But I would have given him 87 because he is currently Mr. Money in the Bank. He is also one half of the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Champions. So I would have gave Damian Priest an 87, but an 86 is just right. Now coming up next in the Judgment Day is Finn Balor with his overall rating in WWE 2K24 and 87, 
which is a no change from his rating in WWE 2K23, which he was also in 87. I agree with this rating right here. Damian Priest doesn't deserve an up or a down rating due to the fact that he had a steady 2023 year. And last but not least in the Judgment Day is JD, and his overall rating in WWE 2K24 is a 71, which is a minus eight from his rating from last year in WWE 2K23, which he was a 79. Now I agree with this rating right here. JD at a 71 is right because he didn't do too much on the main roster. And I believe the only reason he was a 79 in WWE 2K23 was because he was more active in NXT. Now, last but not least, we have three members of the Bloodline rating. Well, shall I say two members and one former member of the Bloodline rating, with the first member of the bloodline being Jimmy Uso, with his overall in WWE 2K24 and 84, which is a minus four from his rating in WWE 2K23. Again, I agree with this rating right here due to the fact that Jimmy Uso haven't been doing anything ever since his brother, Jay Uso, left the bloodline. So 84 Jimmy Uso is correct. Now coming up next is Solo Sokol, and his overall rating in WWE 2K24 is an 86, which is a plus four from his rating in last year game, which he was in 82. Now, personally, me, I would have gave him like a 90, but that is just pushing it. 86 is fine. Solo been doing great. He defeated John Cena, so I don't know why he's at 86. He could have been at least an 88 or a 90, but that is just my opinion. But an 86 is decent for Solo Sokol. But last but not least, it's just me, Oos. Day one, it's just me. Jay Uso is coming in at a 90 overall in WWE 2K24, which is a no change from his rating in last year's game, which he was a 90. Now, me personally, I would have gave Jay Uso like a 92, but that is just me being biased. But a 90 is good for Jay Uso, long as it didn't drop, which it didn't. That is just fine. He had a great 2023. He been holding his own ever since he left the bloodline. So again, 90 is a great rating for Jay Uso. Now that is all for today's video. If you like the video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel as well, because I will keep you guys posted on a lot of WWE 2K24 news, rumors, leaks, as well as DLCs. Also, remember, once we hit 10K, I will be doing a giveaway. But anyways, it's been your boy Blitz Action, and I'm signing off, y'all. Peace.